Hello everyone, today we will be learning about commercial galvanic cells and this is the fourth section of galvanic cells. So we will be learning about three different galvanic cells. Galvanic cells uh, convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Now electrical energy is very useful, therefore galvanic cells are very useful. So they use industrial processes in, to manufacture galvanic cells in a large scale. There are two different types of cells. One is called the primary cell, and these cannot be recharged and they dispersed off. While secondary cells, they are reusable and they can be recharged. So let's take the dry cell as one of our primary cells. There is a positive terminal and a negative terminal. In the positive terminal, it's, that's where the cathode is. There's a metal cap on graphite rod. Graphite rod is just carbon rod. While in the negative terminal, there's a zinc anode. It's, it also has a zinc casing, which is a zinc cylinder, and that also acts as the anode. The electrolyte, which is ammonium chloride, zinc and zinc chloride in a paste, is around the cathode. And also we have the cathode coated with carbon, manganese dioxide, and ammonium chloride. So a mixture of powdered carbon, manganese dioxide and ammonium chloride around the carbon rod which is a cathode. So here we have a coat of, man of the manganese mixture, mixture. And then initially no zinc in solution but as battery is used up the zinc ion forms as ammonium ions are converted to ammonia. Now as the ammonium ions are converted to ammonia we have zinc the solid becoming zinc ions and that is primarily what is happening here the zinc anode casing gets eaten away during operation so as the zinc turns into zinc ions the zinc casing gets eaten away initially the cell can produce a maximum of 1.5 volts but this decreases as the zinc casing is depleted. So we'll take a look at the oxidation reaction. The zinc, which is a solid casing, is turned into zinc ions and it loses two electrons in the process. And also we have a reduction reaction. Yes, it does look a bit complicated, but it's simple. Again, we have the electron being added. So the gaining of the electron to this species, which is being reduced. And here we have the final product. So to be exact, this electron really goes into this ammonia here, ammonium ion, to form ammonia. But these displaces to form manganese hydroxide. So the overall reaction is when we, t we have to balance it first. So we want two electrons here. That means we're gonna add two for each of these. Two here and two here so then we can cancel out the two electrons like this and we can add them up horizontally so on this side of the reaction we have zinc with two ammonium ions and two manganese dioxide molecules and along with two water molecules giving off a zinc ion two manganese hydroxide molecules and two ammonia molecules as you can see so it's pretty simple but yes, you have to memorize these equations if you're learning the dry cell.